Hello and welcome to the Weekend Investing Daily Bite of 6th of November. Special day today as Donald Trump becomes the 47th President of the United States. It is very, very important to understand that US presidents have changed the course of history so many times, whether it was Nixon in 1971 or maybe the presidents uh, who joined World War II with the Allied forces. I think a significant amount of uh, history changing events can happen whenever a new president comes in and this one in particular could be a path changing moment for the US uh, markets as well as the rest of the world. We don't know what all will happen in the next four years, but this is likely to be a, a, a presidency where some big decisions may be taken to alter the current course of uh, how the world is behaving. So in today's uh, daily bite, we would want to discuss, you know, whether the Trump win is likely to favor the Indian markets, what are the experts saying, and, uh, you know, uh, we discuss whether this is going to be a positive or a negative for the Indian markets. Please read the disclaimer and subscribe to the channel if you haven't so far. The markets in its own wisdom has given a good to the Trump presidency. 1.12% up, started the day up with a gap up and came back and closed the gap of the morning and then went up. This is very, very good uh, you know, price action where a recent gap has been closed and it has closed, the markets have closed well above the two-day high thus giving a very clear indication that likelihood of a, a rally from here is much higher than what we were thinking in the last many days. So 1.12% on the Nifty. Nifty next 50 also a very sharp gain of 2.28%. You can see that the last eight days of consolidation and this has now broken out of that consolidation. Although overall you can say midterm trend is still down as we have lower lows. But this current pivot breakout is very encouraging uh, and Nifty Next 50 doing 2.28%. Mid caps also breaking out from this recent uh, consolidation up 2.09% uh, and the small caps also doing the same at plus 1.88% almost reaching this moving average much ahead of all other charts and now almost uh, more than 1200 points from the recent bottom. So small caps have have rallied much faster and, and, and more uh, stronger than rest of the market. Bank Nifty, however, was subdued at 0.21%. It does seem like with the yields going up dramatically overnight, uh, chances of lower interest rates are possibly again set back. And Bank Nifty essentially will fly once we have some indication that interest rates might get cut in India. This uh, combined with the fact that RBI governor spoke that he doesn't think that the Indian economy is in any kind of slowdown uh, does indicate that there is no interest rate cut on the mind of the governor. And that's probably the reason why Bank Nifty was very, very muted uh, on this day, 0.21% up only. Overall, for advanced declines, at 427 advances, to 72 decline so amazing shift of uh, bias towards the green on the previous session you had some fii selling of 2500 crores but dii is bought almost 3000 crores so fii selling today's session which will come out later in the day i think is very important to see that on news of us uh, new presidency will funds move out of india or will funds move into india if the dollar is getting stronger and the Indian currency has hit a new low today of 84, 28 or something like that. Uh, and the Chinese yuan is also weakening. It may be that some outflow further may happen and that is yet to be seen. So a lot of folks actually were very surprised to see Indian markets going up because this win possibly can also result in a lot of FII outflow as people go back to the... Uh, domestic country and build on the new optimism that the new presidency is bringing in. IT stocks boomed 
TCS 4%, Infosys also 4%, HCL Tech, Wipro, Tech Mahindra all boomed on the back of US markets futures, which were up almost 1100 points on the Dow Jones. That you know there is new optimism and buoyancy in the US market, and of course, all these tech companies service the US markets. There were other pockets of green, so LT, Reliance, Britannia, Adani, Adani Ports, uh, Bharat Electronics, several different pockets. Uh, went up minor reds in Titan, HDFC Life, and SBI Life. In terms of Nifty, next 50, you also had a lot of green besides ICICI approvally. You had DLF gain almost 4%. You had uh, Havels, BHEL, Zomato on Swiggy's IPO that is coming out. So Zomato has gone up 5% today, Gas Authority up 6%, Adani Green 4.6%. JSW Energy, so a lot of energy stocks, energy uh, being the major theme today, along with uh, even the public sector enterprise stocks uh, did really well, uh, HAL, IOC, uh, etc. In terms of sectoral trends, IT remained the top contender, 4% in a single day, so amazing U-turn from the recent bashing, which has wiped out all losses for one week and one month, and now IT stands at the highest gainer in three months. So how quickly the tables have turned on the IT stocks. It is amazing. Real estate coming back very nicely at 2.6%. Commodities, public sector enterprise stocks, infra stocks, energy stocks, metal stocks, all racing up. For the week gone by, only FMCG is now in the red at minus 1.7%. Bank, uh, private banks today were not performing at all, as I mentioned. Banks and private banks uh, remained muted. In terms of uh, the IT stocks that were rebounding, persistent LNT Tech, LTI, Mindtree, TCS, Infosys, Coforge, Tech Mahindra, all these stocks have gained ground. IT uh, index itself uh, is doing quite well in terms of the recovery from the support zone. Stock spotlight was on IFCI, it's up 13%. So, a lot of folks had written off uh you know public sector enterprise stocks but today you know these some of these stocks really came back up very strongly so you can't really uh you know uh, forecast what is going to go down and a lot of surprises can happen in the market always go with the trend uh, of the market without really uh you know trying to admonish the trend that you know no this trend is wrong and what i may be thinking may be right so anyhow coming back to the trump win so an amazing win. Uh, my own sense for a long period of time has been that Trump would win this election. And I think my thinking was uh, this because it may be a election where, you know, it's a vote for a change. So, uh, you know, inflation has really caught on in the US markets, whether they call it 3% or 4%, but people actually in the US uh, who I, uh, you know, converse with are saying that they have been hurt by inflation a lot. And people are actually looking for some kind of change because this debt, uh, you know, based economy cannot continue to roll like that. And I think Mr. Trump has a great challenge ahead of him. Although on the first day itself, he has come and said that we will reduce the debt and we will also cut tax rates. So, you know, very common political statement to make on, on, on day one. But it's a gigantic task to turn around this uh, train wreck that is uh, happening right now. In just this last one month, 490 odd billion dollars of fresh debt has been issued. So we are looking at, you know, currently at about 33 or 34 trillion in terms of debt and that may reach 40 trillion within a year. So this is not sustainable at all. And all this is going to fuel uh, inflation. This is not going to allow interest rates to come down. And you know, uh, you know, when this situation will happen, some uh, part of the market is going to break at some point. So advantages of Trump win for India. Let's go through that. Uh, we have sourced this from Economic Times. So advantages of Trump win for India is export boost for Indian sectors. So it is likely that he's going to clamp uh, a, a huge tariff, I think 40% or something they were talking about on Chinese imports. So India companies in sectors like auto, ancillary, solar panels, chemicals, etc. may find those markets, uh, market share uh, to fill. Uh, lower commodity prices as, as Chinese growth slows and their exports are, uh, you know, reduced. Uh, it may lower all commodity prices, which in turn will be good for India because we are 
importing a lot of commodities. Uh, industrial and defense growth. So US manufacturing push could benefit industrial firms and defense companies of India and exports from there. And in general, a pro-business environment. So Mr. Trump, I think, is good at you know running uh, things like a CEO and 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 not like a typical politician. So hopefully he will be able to do a pro-business environment, which you know benefits from lower taxes, reduced regulations, and just create a more business-friendly climate for India equities. And he create he has a very good equation with our prime minister. So hopefully their uh, their chemistry can work for the benefit of India. Disadvantages of a Trump win is, as I mentioned, inflationary pressure. So already the U.S. yields are going up on this victory, higher interest rates, and that will, uh, you know, they will basically export that inflation to the rest of the world, and and uh, because of increased tariffs and wage wage hikes in the U.S., strong dollar is another major disadvantage if they are going to go after this Make America Great Again campaign and try to bring in capacities from other countries back into the US will cause fund flow to go back into the US to create those capacities, to create those factories that will weaken the rupee a lot and that will raise our import costs and, and create inflation at our end. Uncertainty about Trump's policies, of course, is a major worry because he seems to be a more volatile personality than most other presidents and he may do something ad hoc uh, now that the Senate is also in his, in, in his control. And uh, that could be a reason for some sort of volatility going forward. Uh, immigration is another ish area where, you know, IT services, Indian IT services may get impacted as he has been vocal about clamping down on, on a lot of illegal as well as legal immigration from certain countries. So Indian companies have gone up today in on the back of great prospects of the US uh, economy. But once he starts to speak about immigration, I think a, a reverse flow can also happen. Then, of course, there is tariff trouble. So not just China, but there is uh, potential of risk of tariffs on India. So again, IT, pharma, textiles that rely on US exports can get impacted. Uh, he wants to make uh, more and more manufacturing come back to the US. So wants to put barriers for all kinds of imports. And higher US deficit could lead to global inflation, rising interest costs cost impacting emerging markets. So again, the fiscal deficit issue uh, is huge and it is alarmingly uh, there in the face of the entire world. So really speaking, I mean, we may put our hand in this hand and, and say that, you know, we really, really don't care what America does, but America and its president are path changing, uh, you know, instruments or influencers of the world. And they can really, uh, you know, change the path of the world on their whims that is that kind of power at play we can only hope that you know the presidency for the next four years doesn't do anything that rocks the boat and we have some continuation of whatever has been going well so in this table you can see source from charlie Bellello. Uh, what is the performance under the past president's tenure so you can see that most presidents have done very very well uh, george w bush one and bush uh, second term both were negative terms you had uh, Roosevelt uh, a negative term in 37 to 41, and of course the Great uh, Depression of in terms of President Hoover in 73. All other presidents have resulted in great S&P 500 total returns uh, over four years. Trump himself has, uh, you know, managed 83 percent in his past last tenure of 2017 to 21, and uh, that uh, probably sets up a good probability of markets doing well going forward so what should you do so volatility is a phenomena that is applicable for short term or as at max medium term but markets have always been kind to folks who have a long term view in the indian market indian market has uh, you know been able to sail through all kinds of volatility uh, over a larger span of time so even if there is based on whatever we have discussed in terms of uh, tariffs or other things uh, you know, or the currency, if we do get volatility right through that, and hopefully at the end of the tunnel, we will get a lot of money in our portfolios. So, do write in the comments what do you think about the Trump presidency and its impact on the Indian markets. We'll, we are happy to engage with you there. And thank you so much for watching this video. Do like and share this video if you like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.